Welcome to my monthly favorites. Yes, these are my favorites for June and I'm so excited to share them with you. These are the products that I've been using and enjoying in June and even beyond. And if you're not a subscriber and you're 50 plus, I hope you click that bell so you'll be notified of my future weekly videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, let's get into this. Now, the first two products that I have here, I so much love. These are the Joe Malone fragrances, and I particularly love two of them. The first is Orange Blossom, which smells just like orange blossoms, and the second is Wild Bluebell. Coincidentally, these were the chosen wedding perfumes for Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton, so I thought that was kind of interesting, but I actually went into Dillard's and I tried on pretty much every fragrance that they had, and then I got home and ordered some from eBay as well, and these were my two absolute favorites, and I will preface this by saying that nothing smells good on me. To me, all perfumes pretty much smell like green stems on me. I tend to like florals, but I smell like the stems. My sister says perfumes bring out the animal smell in her, which is not good. But we must have not a good chemistry in our family for fragrance. But these two fragrances smell heavenly on me. The first is the Orange Blossom. And if you're not familiar with these Jo Malone fragrances, basically they are very pure. Oh, that smells fabulous. They are very pure. This is just orange blossom, and that may be the reason why it smells on me exactly like it smells in the bottle, and that is wonderful. And I've been wearing it for about three months, and I've just ordered the three ounce size. I love it so much. And these colognes are meant to be layered, and the orange blossom layers very well with the bluebell, and I'll go ahead and spritz that on here. Wow, these are wonderful. And you know, I had a girlfriend over who loves perfume and I sprayed the orange blossom on her and she said, I have to have that. It's amazing. And I will say, if you like florals, you will absolutely love these Jo Malone colognes. Next, I'm going to be getting into some favorite makeup items. And the first is a little tiny eyeshadow palette. And this is the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. It's what I have on my eyes right now. I've been wearing it all month. Love it. I love the fact that it has wonderful neutral colors, just about every neutral color you would need there. I have this little color on my lid, and then I have this little grayed out brown in my crease, and then on my brow I have this white one, and you can see those colors. They're very highly pigmented and very wearable, and I really like this little palette because it's great in your purse or traveling on a trip. Now, my next product is a brow product that I just found this month, and I absolutely love this. Now, as we get to be 50 plus, a problem with brows is not just losing our tails, and I have been growing in my tails, and I'll link the video about that below. But another problem we have is grays in our eyebrows, which is no fun at all. And this is the Tarte Busy Gal Brows. This product colors in the grays, and it sets your brows just beautifully. And here it is, just a little tiny brow brush there. It's just enough to get any of those little gray colors that you need to color. And I am using it in the color Ash Blonde. It totally works beautifully to color in the grays and it keeps my brows set all day long. Now, as many of you who have watched my channel know, I tend to get oily and sometimes I look oily even on camera, but in the summer, especially with all the humidity here in Kansas, I get kind of oily and shiny and so powders are very important to me. And in the last couple of months, I've gone back to using this Peach Perfect Powder. Absolutely love this setting powder. And there it is, and it has a little bit of a peach tone to it, which I really appreciate. I'll go ahead and put a little of that on now. It's a very finely milled powder, and it just does take down the greasy shine that we sometimes get on our faces, but it doesn't do it in too matte a way to where you get that cakey look on your face. Look at how beautiful that looks. I almost think it has a little bit of an iridescence to it, just the slightest bit, to give us that little bit of a healthy glow. Totally have been loving this Peach Perfect Powder because I really think it gives you that peaches and cream look. Now the next product I've been loving is the product that I have right now on my cheeks, this blush. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton Peach Delight. Totally love this one. Let me show this to you. As you can see, it's a mix of colors there. That's what baked blushes tend to be. Look at that absolutely radiant peachy pink color. That is one of my favorite colors because the pink in here gives you just a little bit of brightness, but the light peach and the darker peach kind of null it down a little bit and make it blend in and look more natural. And in addition to the wonderful color, I also like that it just has a small bit of iridescence to it 
So it not only makes our cheeks look beautiful, it helps bring on the glow. Now the next product I've really been loving is a bronzer, and this is the L'Oreal Lumi Bronzet. As you can see, you get a ton of product in here. I think this is about $12 and you can buy it pretty much at any drugstore or Walmart. I really like this one because look at that supernatural color. Look at that. And I have this bronzer on now underneath my cheekbones, along my jawbone, and along the sides of my nose. Truly love this bronzer because to me, you can't make a mistake with it. You can't be wearing those dark chocolate bars accidentally under your cheekbones. When you use this bronzer, you'll just look natural and glowy. Now, my next three products are lip products, and in fact, they're the lip products that I have on right now. The first is the lip liner, and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. And here it is, I'll show you that right here. And as you can see, that is just the perfect nude color lip pencil. You can use this with a lot of different nude lipsticks. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick on in the color Bitch Perfect. And I'm really liking this one because it has a little bit more of an orange tone than the Pillow Talk that I always wear. But look at that, absolutely a beautiful kind of summery orange tone goes great with that lip pencil. And then on top of those Charlotte Tilbury lips, I have a gloss here that is very inexpensive. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Fortune Cookie. Absolutely love this one. It's very inexpensive, maybe about $5, and look at that. That is such a neutral gloss, it can go over many different lipsticks. I'll go ahead and apply a little more now. Very, very pretty. And if you want to make your lips look bigger, you just keep it right in the center there. The thing I particularly like about this peachy toned lip trio is how wonderful it looks in the summer with a tan. And speaking of tans, the next product is a fabulous self tanner that I have found. In fact, it's what I have on my arms right now. Absolutely love this one. And as many of you know who have watched my channel in the past, I've always favored these Jergens Natural Glow products. And I really like them. They go on like a cream lotion, just white. And then over a few hours, the tan comes on. But recently, I've been noticing that every now and then, in fact, quite often, I will come to do a video or I'll get ready for work in short sleeves and I'll realize that my arms are not tanned, they are blue, and I don't even have a few hours to wait for that tan to materialize. And so for those of you who want instant gratification plus a little more tan over the hours, this L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Luminous Bronze Self Tanner in Medium is what I've been using. And look how natural that color is. I am not one who wants to look like I'm a sun bunny. I just think that dark tan is kind of a leathery look and it looks like skin damage to me. I just want something that gives me a little bit of natural color to where you don't say, ooh, who is that Malibu Beth? To where you just say, oh, she looks nice and everything blends overall. And if you also have arms or legs that are occasionally blue, I think you'll love this L'Oreal Sublime Bronze. Now, another product that I've been truly loving is a hair product, and this is brand new for me this month. I got it about two weeks ago, and I've been using it almost every day. This is the Kenra Shine Spray, and that's how that looks. What this product does, it's a little fine mist that just adds a little bit of oil to your hair. And if you're like me with very processed hair, occasionally or about all the time, I get little frizzies and my hair texture just does not look that good. This shine spray, while not a miracle, it doesn't give you that long, glossy, brunette looking hair that we always see, but it does take down that crunchy fried look. I'll go ahead and spray a little on. Let's see if we can make it look good here. See, it just kind of adds, see, <coughs> ooh. Also, don't really spray it right in your face. Go ahead and shield it off. But as you can see, it just gave me a subtle little bit of shine that takes down the frizz. Now, my last few products I got from PR, but several of them I ordered because they are my all-time favorites. The first is this Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation, and I have it on right now, and this is in the color 220 Buff Warm, or W, and normally I wear it in the color 220 Buff, but that is primarily in the winter. And adding on the W in the summer or the little bit of warmth just gives you a little bit of a summer glow. And the thing I like about this foundation is it is a medium to full color foundation and it is truly buildable. And as you can see, it just helps give my skin an overall kind of a flawless look because it really isn't flawless in real life. And something I've learned recently to help give an even more natural finish 
is to just dot the foundation just in the center of your face and then I spray my foundation brush with a setting spray. I love the Urban Decay All Nighter and then I just use the brush to bring that foundation out to the outside of my face so you really don't end up with cakey foundation out here at all. Most of your color is concentrated where you need it in this T-zone area where we tend to have the large pores, at least I do. Truly do love this foundation. It is one of my ongoing favorites that I keep going back to. And Lancome also sent me this Prep and Matte Primer, and I did not like this nearly as well as I like the foundation. When I've used matte primers in the past, they tend to go on a little thicker, which I think helps cover up the pores. This one just goes on as a rather thin white lotion. I really didn't care for this all that much, but in terms of a primer that really does matte down your skin, I truly love this one. And this is by the company Pure. And recently I've started using a lot more Pure products and I am truly loving them. I've almost not found one yet that I don't like. They have a great brow product that I love. And actually, I forgot to mention this other Pure product as a favorite. This is the Pure Self Sharpening Eyeliner pencil in rain and it is the color that I have on right now and is actually a purple and truly love this one and I've really been liking and enjoying this make it matter matte stick and here it is it's a very different sort of a product and you put this on before your foundation and I have it on now and it really does just matte down the oil and through the day if you tend to get shiny and I really don't need this now but I'll go ahead and put a little bit here if you tend to get shiny you can just use the smallest bit of this, just dab it on. I'll put some on my chin here. And it just kind of takes down that shine. This truly is a double duty product. You can use it as a primer in the morning, then keep it with you all day long. Now my next June fave, I actually ordered from PR because I love this. I was about out of it and I wanted another tube of it. This is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield SPF 50. First, I absolutely love that it has such a high SPF. Secondly, I love that it plays well with my Retin-A. Now, if you're not a Retin-A user, you could probably use like a Neutrogena Dry Touch. I used to use that before Retin-A and I really did love that. But if you use Retin-A, you can't use those chemical sunscreens. You need a physical barrier and this sunscreen contains zinc oxide. And normally zinc goes on white. Remember the lifeguards at the pool with the white noses? Normally that is kind of how these zinc sunscreens look, but this one is not like that, so I really do appreciate that. It actually looks a little bit like a CC cream or a mild foundation. It goes on very smoothly and it does take a minute or so to dry, but just give it a little drying time and then your foundation goes on just beautifully over it. And on a weekend morning when you may not want to wear makeup, this is a wonderful thing because you can just apply this sunblock, you're protected, and it gives your skin just a little bit more of an even look. It's not a full coverage foundation by any means, but it does even things out. And of course it gives you that great SPF 50. This is an absolutely wonderful sunblock and I'll never be without it. Now, this next item I was sent from PR as well, and I will have to say that for me personally, this would not be one of my faves. And the reason is because, as those of you who've watched my channel know, I had extremely oily skin. I had horrible acne growing up. Actually, until I was like 50, I had acne. So I have never really needed products with a lot of oil in them. And so this product did not really work for me. And this is a wonderful discovery set is what they call it. So if you have drier skin than I do and you're always looking for ways to get great moisture into your skin, this is the Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Skin Regimen Discovery Set. And it gives you great sizes of all these products to give you enough to really test them out in a good way. I did use this for about three nights, but it just really was not for me. But if you want moisture, I think you might really look into this. I love the Amore Pacific brands. In fact, it has one of my absolute favorite products of all time. It's a powder-like enzyme peel that I use once a week, and I think it really brings the glow to my skin. But this is the little cleanser, and it is called Treatment Cleansing Foam. And to me, this went on a little bit like Pond's Cold Cream or something like that. Remember what our mothers used to wear? This went on very thick and heavy and oily, and it was a little bit difficult to wash off. I just used warm water and a washcloth, but it did leave my skin very moisturized feeling. This is a great eye cream, and I actually really did like this one, and this one did not seem nearly so oily. This is the Moisture Bound Rejuvenating Eye Treatment, 
And I really did like this. I put it on in the evening, and although it was tacky for maybe about 10 minutes and I could really feel the moisture, by the morning my eyes just looked a little less crepey underneath, and also it seemed like the lids looked good. I really did like that. And here is the Moisture Bound Facial Rejuvenating Cream. And this was too oily for me. It went on and felt tacky for maybe 10 or 15 minutes. But when I woke up in the morning, my skin did look very moisturized. But I just know personally that this is too much oil for me. And this is their Treatment Cleansing Oil. And I did not even try this, quite honestly, because I've used cleansing oils before. And with my oily skin, it creates an oil slick, which is not good. And this product was very interesting, and I did kind of like this product. This is the Amore Pacific Moisture Bound Sleeping Recovery Mask. I put this on in the evening, and very quickly it dries down. And in the morning when you wake up, your skin is just moist and dewy. And while this set was too much oil and too much moisture for me, if you have dry skin and you'd really like to add some great hydration, you might give this a try. Okay, that was a look at my June faves. And you may have noticed about when I started showing this product that my look kind of changed. And that's because I went to edit the video yesterday. And when I got to this product, unfortunately, the video went dark. So that meant that this morning I had to recreate this look and go ahead and reshoot the tail end of that video. So I may look a little different. And one of the things that may look a little bit different about me is this mascara. This is a fabulous mascara. And I just shot a video about it this morning. And if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see a truly wonderful mascara, then click that little bell and you'll be notified of that video. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been using this Miracles Now card deck from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's choose a card. Let's choose what we can think about for today. I'm going out of town today, so I need something good. Ooh, I like this. I am not the victim. I am the lighthouse. I am not the victim. I am the lighthouse. Oh, friends, I've never really thought about this before, but I absolutely love this card. We're going through difficult situations in our life, and we tend to feel a little bit like the victim, or we have certain personality flaws or things that we've been dealing with that make us feel like the victim. It's important to realize that our attitude matters. So friends, and just for today, let's not allow ourselves to be the victim. Let's realize that we can take those struggles and difficulties and ask the universe to help us turn around our attitude to make us a lighthouse for others. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.